Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be listening to an event which is called Message Update. That event triggers when somebody edit a message that was sent uh, while the bot was online. What we're going to be doing with that message, we're going to be logging that edit inside of our message logs channel. So the first thing that you need to do is create a new folder under your events category and you're going to be calling that folder message. Why? Because we're going to be doing uh, in the future episodes more event listeners and we're going to be doing them inside that message folder. So let's create it a bit quick. And then inside that message uh, folder, we're going to be creating uh, a file which is called message update.js. Here we're going to require the message embed from the Discord package. And then we're going to be model.export. And the name of the event is going to be obviously message updates. Make sure it's right and it's um, exactly like this. And then here we're going to execute and we're going to execute old message and new message. Inside that object, we're going to be shaking. So if old message.author.bot, not fit bot, we're going to be returning. So if the message author is a bot, we're going to be returning the because it's not valuable information um, and here we're gonna be creating um, a convert converter if you may uh, say so let's see here in the embed limits the descriptions are limited to 4096 characters uh, that's why we're gonna be using our description to hold the new message and the old message uh, some people like to use fields but that's uh, in, in a way con inconvenient because it can only hold 1024 characters uh, while when you can divide the embed to hold both messages and both of them will get 2000 each or almost 2000 each so in here to limit this um, so we don't get an error we're gonna define the count as 1950 uh, count equals to 1950 uh, characters uh, why I'm putting it 1950 not exactly uh, uh, this number divided because we're gonna be putting some more information inside of our embed uh, or not embed yeah the description of the embed so here we're gonna type const uh, original equals to old message dot content dot slice we're gonna slice zero to the actual count number plus old message dot content dot content watch out for the typos i see a lot of you guys complaining in our discord because of your typos uh, then uh, length greater than count uh, question mark and then here we're going to be adding a space and three dots just like this <coughs> god bless me either way uh, now we're gonna type const uh, edit it equals to new message or uh, what we can do is just copy from here paste it here and change this from old message to new message and now we're done with our converter so now we go down a couple of lines and we create our embed so we'll type const log embed equals to new message embed we're gonna set the color of the embed to be uh, let's say orange and then the description is going to be a message or a message inside the, of this uh, stuff, whatever you can call them. And then just like this, we type new message URL. I'm going to show you why we're going to be doing it like this. This is called a hyperlink, I'm pretty sure. Um, and we type has been edited by um, a new message author in new message dot channel so what the embed is going to say is basically a message and here's going to be a link uh, for the message you click on it and it, you will try i will show you later has been edited by the message author in this channel uh, and now here we're going to create um or we're going to go down one more line um we can add a new line and here we're going to type original bolded and uh, here we're gonna pass in the original message so original and actually we're gonna type uh, backspace uh, no backslash a couple of times with the back tick 
I'm gonna show you why later. And then under it, we're gonna type, or we're gonna bold edit it. Here we're gonna do the exact same thing. Here we're gonna pass in the edited. So it looks nicer. Um, and yeah, this should be it for the message uh, description. Here we're gonna check if the image ha or the, if the message has an attachment. We're gonna also attach that attachment to our embed. So we can type if a new message dot attachment dot size is greater than zero, and then we're gonna be typing log embed dot add field. We're gonna be adding a field. We're gonna be calling it uh, attachments. Is it how you type attachment? I'm not too sure. No, not an extra E over here. Uh, and then we can add this. And now um, we'll pass in the. Or actually, yeah, we'll put type new message. We can. We need to map them. That's why I'm a little bit confused. Dot attachment. Dot map. We can map attachment to attachment. Dot URL. And then we're gonna set the embed to be true. Uh, and now here we're gonna type message, a new message dot guide dot channel dot channels dot cache dot get. And here we're gonna pass in an ID of a channel. So if we go to our Discord, I'm gonna copy this. Hello, Jutaro. How are you doing? Um, and now here we're gonna pass in the ID. And in the embed, uh, we're gonna pass in the array or pass the log embed inside the embeds array and now let's restart the bot and check if it's working and like i always guys say i give you the foundation and you can customize everything on your own this is only the foundation you know what i mean uh, so now if you go to discord and i'm gonna tap something in, in the channel and then i'm gonna edit it and here we should see a message pop up over here a message has been edited by leaks in general it's uh, it's too large of a space over here so let's let's delete this line a new line just like this let's try again all right i'm gonna send a message and then i'm gonna edit it ah uh, yeah and this this you choose whatever looks nice to you uh either way so a message has been edited by links in general um if you click on the message you will see it will transfer it to the message and uh, now let's add an attachment to the message so upload squad game for example and then i'm gonna edit the message and you see here we added the attachment so it checked if there was no attachment it won't add the field but if there was it will add the field now if you click on it we're gonna be transferred to the attachment this is my character counter by the way um either way yeah so this is it you can customize this as much as you want uh, feel free to ask me in the comments or in our discord um um, questions about this and yeah hope you guys have a nice day